Above all else, I surrender my life to the Lord. I walk in the, you know, physical flesh. I walk, I walk, walk in the body. I have to do things. I got to go get my money and go get my work and go get my chicken and cut the head off. But I am not going to try so hard in my thinking anymore. We've got to release our thinking sometimes. We think too hard. Our, our, our trouble's right here. We're thinking, 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 trying, trying. God said, I'm going to release you from trying. Because the moment I can release you from trying, I can, live, I can get in you to live by faith and believe. And these things now are just going to be your desires. God said, I want you to follow the desires of your heart. So once we receive the King, now who died on the cross, resurrected to give new life, eternal glory. Now we live for him. We are no longer our own. We are bought with a price. Now, by faith in that, and by loving the Lord like yourself, loving your neighbors as yourself, loving the Lord with all your heart, all your mind, all your will, all your passion, all the glory that goes to God, through just loving his life and bringing on praise. And now I release myself from trying. I release myself from thinking. I release, you know, I had a critical nerve damage from years of drugs, abuse, uh, alcoholism. Ah, but God healed me. You know why he healed me? Because I don't try no more. I don't try to fight no more with the flesh. It says in the Bible that the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but yet are mighty of God, of pulling down strongholds, glory. It's the glory. It's the glory of God. He said by the increasing glory will transform your life. The shining vessels out there today. Um, that is you who are allowing God to increase in your life in every aspect. Say, I just released myself from trying. That's what I'm going to do today. This is a, this, forget the sermon. I'm going to go way off the intellectual mindset of trying so hard. So let's just release it today. I'm not going to try. That's one thing we got to, let's, let's, God, I'm not going to try so hard anymore. I want to trust that my faith will try for me. And so I can release all the worries, all the tension, all the anxiety, all the pain, all the aggravation, all the contention. You know, there's some people who surprise you because you you will build up some contention for them. And then you realize, man, those are good people. You just was trying too hard. You was trying too hard to think they were someone that they weren't. You was trying to, I'm guilty, we're all guilty. You was trying too hard. Trying too hard to think about the situation. Trying too hard to think of the worry behind if something might go wrong. But God said, I release that today in the name of Jesus. For I am the spirit of love. I am the spirit of life. I am the spirit of all. Because you know in the Bible it says that he did not give you a spirit of fear. But a power, love, and a sound mind. So that sound mind comes from releasing that uh, tension. That contention. That pain. That hurt. Say, just forgive, just forgive. I don't care what they did. They, I know it's horrible what they did. Just forgive them. The moment you forgive, you release something for them. It's not for you. Forgiveness is not for you. Forgiveness is for them. So you release something when you forgive them. Because we cannot forgive other people's sins, but we can forgive them of the sin they did to us. So now when we do that, we have released them from that sin. Just like Jesus released you from your sin. And think of how great that is. He released you. Freedom. 